Hi guys, I wanted to come on today to give you guys some words of encouragement in this eighth month, the month of August, the month of new beginnings, the month of suddenly, the month of supernatural, the month of make your request be known, be intentional and be specific because God is doing some miraculous things in this month. He is setting the mark in the month of August. He is getting your life prepared for what he has in store for you for the remaining of the year. And it's beginning now. It started in July, it's manifesting in August and you will see the results of it the rest of the year. So guys, be intentional. Do the necessary changes that you need to do within yourself and in your life to see the manifestations occur. Um, God is doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing. You can't keep God in a box. Definitely don't put him in a box. Definitely don't doubt him because everything that is impossible to you, God is showing himself to make it possible. And he is definitely doing a new thing and he's doing it quickly and swiftly. Um, so I wanted to come on here and encourage you guys on this month to make sure that you're being intentional in everything that you're doing. Make sure that you're being specific in your request and in your petitions that you're lifting up to God. Also make sure that you're being open-minded and op and have an open heart to the things that God is downloading in you and telling you to do in this season. Be obedient. See, obedience is better than sacrifice. Make sure that you're being obedient. Make sure that you're moving when he tell you to move. Make sure that you're letting go of what and what and who he's telling you to let go of. Make sure that you're being obedient. Make sure that you're aligning yourself and getting in pos into position for the things that God is about to loose and spring forth in this season. A lot of things that God has been doing, has been do he's been doing transformations within us. He's been working on those core issues within us. He has been molding us into the men and to the women that he wants us to be. And he has been putting us in alignment so that not only what, that we will be changed on the inside for the blessings that he has in store for us, but once it starts on the inside, it starts to show on the outside. And so he had to do those things within us. And so yes, the first six, seven months have not been all that good. It has not been real comfortable because he was doing a transformation. And so now that the transformation has been kicked into a full effect and now that the outside the inside is starting to reflect on the outside now he can let some things happen in our lives he can bring some people into our lives he can bring some circumstances into our lives he can open some doors for us he can place our foot on new grounds because of the transformation because we have a new way of thinking because we have let go of the old wine skin and we have walked into the new wine skin because we look new we walk new we talk new we smell new we are new we are new creatures in him. And because of the newness in us, he is putting us in new places. He is putting us in new connections. He has given us new blessings, new finances, new jobs, new grounds. And just be expecting the new because that's what season we're in. We're in the season of the new, the month of new beginnings. And I am just so grateful and excited about what God is doing in our lives and what he is doing in this season. And he's not just doing a monetary thing. He is not just doing a material thing but he is doing spiritual things. Your spiritual mind is being made new. You will no long, longer look at things carnally. He is allowing you to see the spiritual aspect of those things that he is downloading and revealing to you in this season. He is stirring those spiritual gifts that you've been sitting on. No longer will you be able to sit on the gifts that he has given you, but you will spring forth. You will start opening your mouth. You will start working in ministry. You will start working in that business you will start doing the things that he has blessed you with those visions that he has given you you will start working in them and because you have allowed him to transform you inside out now he will bless you with the tools and the resources that you need to get these things up and running successfully because without a new mind without a new way of thinking without a new way of moving you would have destroyed this vision he has given you but now since you have allowed him to make you new now he can give you the new things things, the new ground, the new connections, the new tools, the new resources, so that this thing can be prosperous. It will flourish. It will be successful in the mighty name of Jesus. We've been requesting and asking God for a lot of things, a lot of things, whether it's been material things, whether it's been spiritual things, but believe you that he is about to do all things because he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ever ask for or think. So eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what God is about to do in this season. So I 
well, I encourage you guys to be in expectation. Walk it out as though it already has come. Give him thanks in advance for the things that he is doing in your life and in other lives. Intercede, open your mouth and pray and step in the, and stand in the gap for others. Now, don't be selfish in this season. This is not a season to be selfish, but this is a season to make your request known. This is a season to open your mouth and be specific. And as I say, not just for you, but for others. God blesses those who blesses others. And I'm telling you, God is up to some major things. It is hard not to be excited in this season. It is hard to sit still because you know God got a major plan for your life and you can see it. Even though you can't quite put your hands on it yet, you can see it. And just the simple fact of you having that umption in your body and your spirit and just knowing that he's up to something and he's doing something for you. It is something to be excited about. So give God all the glory and all the honor and all the praise, not just today, but every day. Wake up with a praise in your heart. Wake up with thanksgiving. Wake up just knowing that something good and, and something excellent and something miraculous is going to happen on each and every day. Wake up in expectation. Expect God to move. Declare and decree and command your day. Tell your day how you want it to go. Tell your situation how you want it to go. Prophesy over yourself. If the power of life and death lies in your tongue, use your tongue. So I pray that this message has encouraged you guys. I pray that it has touched you guys. I pray that you stand in agreement with me, knowing that God is definitely up to something and to be in expectation for all that God is doing in this season. If you guys have any prayer requests, please inbox me. Let me know your prayer requests and I will definitely get back with you and stand in the gap with you on those things. If you would like a one-on-one consultation with me, also inbox me um, that information. I will get back with you to schedule a day and a time where we can connect. Um, if you would like to sow into the ministry, I will include my um, PayPal and my cash app information below. Um, I just, I, I'm just so excited about what God is doing. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you have not already done so, make sure to like and share as well. I pray you guys be blessed and a blessing.